you mentioned um, uh, New Eden. That also, I mean, for me, it, it's it's about a few things. It's about feeling out of place in the world when you're just getting older, and you feel it's a world. The world that you knew is slowly disappearing away. Like um, you know, buildings are being pulled down, things are going, things are going, and, and losing people as well because you get to start getting to that age where you start to lose to lose people and it becomes a foreign country you're living in a foreign country that you don't recognize and anymore and you think well i haven't really got a place in this. it's not really for me anymore i don't really have a place in in, in this in this what whatever this is anymore and so you i imagine yourself you're finding somewhere to escape to, to where you know you have all these dreams of the past and these kind of ideals that you have of the past things like that and they were kind of still seem naive in a way now and naive and maybe you were just dreaming it, it is that echo of the 19... It's good from the 1960s, 1970s, that, but we're going back to that nostalgia theme uh, uh, again, I suppose. And imagine sailing away, and I really love the way the music just goes on and on at the end. It, it's, it's great. It just, it's great, but it's fantastic. It's like there's some dreamy things sort of sailing, sailing away across some, some sea to somewhere, you know. The fact that we're both from seaside towns where there were fun fairs, I mean, there were... Uh, uh, I mean, in Southport, you were, you had a fun fair there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I worked on the fun fair in Southport. And, we, and Blackpool. So there, were, we, there was definitely the fun fair thing we had in common. But it's almost like the sort of the fun going out of the fun fair. It sort of felt like, or like, you know, the chewing gum losing, losing its flavour. It's a symbol of fun and good times, yet yeah, put in a very bleak setting. With the it? abandoned yeah. dodgems, you know. Bleak. It says a lot about soft sell, I think, as well. There's something of this decaying fun in this bleak in, in this bleak setting, a mixture of, of fun and and bleakness. People said to us, "Oh, you said you, you were never going to do anything again." But I think after COVID, all bets are off for everything. Really, I think you, uh, that whole time you kind of reevaluate things. You, you write about things. Well, I'm getting. I've lost two years of my of, of work, two years of my life. You know, doing doing not much. I want to do things I enjoy. Well, I enjoy doing that. You know, and I, I think people. The feedback I was getting from fans and things was that the the O2, which I thought would satisfy people, didn't satisfy. There were really more. It like, was like great though playing things. smaller venues, like you said, because you could actually see yeah. the reaction in the crowd. It was great wild. I mean, when we, were, when we played in Leeds, it was insane. Yeah. People are going to want something that's going to be a real crowd pleaser. Coming back after this, you know, they want. And that's what people needed, really I think. Really after after all this, people. you know, misery for two years, let's do something that really up. And to the whole of non-stop erotic cabaret, and and, and for me, I, I just re-evaluated the whole record. I was talking, to, I was talking to, to, to Neil Tennant about it and talking with everything, and he was saying, well, that they used to play it over and over again. They used to play it a lot, and. And, and I suppose because it's a very successful record for us and because we heard it, it's a time when we were really doing heavy promotion, we're really getting, you know, really kind of bogged down by it in some, in, 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 in some ways. You kind of tend to push it to the back and ignore it. Well, I'm going to go on with new things now. I've done that and I'm not going to... But when you go back and reevaluate it years later, it, it's actually really... It's like, it's like a song cycle. Sunday morning going slow I'm talking to the and records on the floor the memories of the night before I'm out in clubland having fun and now I'm hiding from the sun I'm waiting for a visitor though no one knows I'm here for sure and, it, and it's like an actual piece of theatre in its own thing. It, actually, you could write a story that goes between all the tracks, from the guy in frustration, you know, that goes out to find another life, he goes out to he gets involved with a kind of like, you know, maybe a prostitute or something. You know, someone tells. I feel a musical yeah. coming on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> When we did it on stage and we had the visuals were 
pretty fantastic, I, I think, about that desolate yeah, well, Soho, yeah. those Soho yeah. times. And I just thought, well, it really is like a complete little 40 minutes of this song that tells this story. I have a life, I have a cage, I'm going for I want to tell the world. I've done nothing, I've achieved nothing. I work for a firm, but I want to burn it down. I am so ordinary. I think we've really got that soft cell sound back a lot more on this album. It feels much to me much more like a soft cell album. It's got a, a nice kind of edginess to it. Some of the songs are a bit kind of a little bit, little bit of a dirtiness to it. It's still got that kind of post-punk attitude, electronic band attitude. Now I bruises on all my illusions. Bruises. Yeah, well, I've been with BMG for a little while now, so I think everyone's been very encouraging to us no, with, with really this good. record. Really and positive. really been behind us, and really been really been supportive, and um, you know, really wants to make it work. And I've actually been really excited about it. Like, like it's good to no, be excited no, about, about a record. Oh, my God. 